Hey guys, this is Proof of Concept. Sorry it's been a while. I've been busy with school and all that. This one, we're talking about two-step caps. Um, the C cap, uh, to be specific. I don't know if there actually are any other two-step caps. But this is what I'm going to be talking about for the most part. And what a cap is, uh, it's an acronym. CAP for continuous assembly pattern and what that is is you have a pattern made up of two steps, four steps, eight steps, twelve steps, uh, whatever. It's a pattern that repeats itself and it's made up of segments of different patterns. So for this one you have the extension and the anti-spin. And you string that those together. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, you can face it different directions. You can face it up. One, two, one, two, one, two. Face it that way. And really the thing to think about is to just kind of let your flail just keep its spin pretty constant. Don't really interrupt it. And think about moving your wrist in a half circle, a C. And you can do that with a linear isolation and extension as well in all the different directions just kind of think of the linear extension as the anti-spin point isolation as the where the extension would go there uh, there are other kinds of caps too I guess I'll touch on the S cap which is pretty cool it's basically you can think of you have this C and then you have this C and they're kind of strung together to make an S. And you can think of that as like a four step cap, although it feels more like a two. You have, say, extension, that first half, now this bottom loop, anti spin, extension, anti spin. And you can string those together. You can think about this. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. And for the C cap, as far as doing it with both hands, you can do it in different timings as well as facing in different directions. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to face it that direction. Uh, just for the ease of showing you, you have uh, like that, which employs generally the first thing, or the first way people learn this. It's where you have it at the top, extend, anti spin. And you want to make sure your anti-spin is facing straight that way, or straight up, straight left, straight down, wherever. And that when you make the end of that pedal, that your hands are kind of overlapping each other. Same way you would with that anti-spin flower. You can think of it as cutting this four pedal anti-spin in half. And there's not just that way, uh, you have that way. And when I'm doing this, my hands are spinning uh, this relation to each other, which is split time opposite direction. Split time meaning one, when one's on top, the other one's on the bottom, and vice versa. In opposite direction, I shouldn't have to explain that. Uh, there's also 
say having your hands same time, same direction. So when one's on bottom, the other one's on bottom. One's on top, the other is on top, spinning same direction. You can have that. So every time your hand goes down, it's giving you an anti-spin. Or if you switch the direction, yeah, so every time they're going up, they're doing the anti-spin. And I guess I'll demonstrate the different ones with props real quick for you before I go, just to kind of help cement that pattern and what it should look like, where they come from. First, I'll do the two-step cap with the poi, showing it for the camera. We're going to get a second one. So you put two of them together. Face in different directions. Um, that. And that's pretty much what it should look like when you have gloves on. I'm also going to briefly show you that one with the linear extension and the uh, point isolation with these. extension with a linear isolation. And bring them both together. Point isolation and extension. And hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know what you think of using the props to help demonstrate it and show you where the pattern comes from. Uh, if it helps at all or if it's just kind of a time waster. Because if I'm really wasting your time, I don't really want to be doing it. So please let me know. See you guys next time.